Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and today we're going to do your General Hospital Spoilers, I'm sorry, General Hospital Daily Recap for Friday, September the 25th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Please hit that like button because every time you hit that like button, let YouTube know it's a good video for soap fans. So you can be part of our soap fam. You can also can go that extra mile, become a member where you get exclusive videos, early access to videos, articles, and more. So hit that join button so you can find out everything that membership has to offer. Now, <clears throat> as always, um, I'm going to go ahead and thank my member, my current membership, Megan Maloney, Samantha Greenridge, Michael Pryor, Gwen Marie, Yvonne Todd, Penny Wiseman, Jeff Payton, Cassie DeGrenia, Patricia Bell, Ron McConaughey, Christy Power, Angela Langill, Phyllis Pearson, Ellen, Ellie May, David Cherry, Sharon, Shannon Clark, David Meadows, and Deb Belk. Thank you all for being members. And we're going to get right into the... Spo the uh, I keep saying spoilers because I'm about to do the spoiler videos for the week, which is right after I do this next video. <laughs> I gotta do spoilers, but right now is daily recap time. So daily recap of uh, General Hospital Friday, September 25th. Uh, Valentin goes to the funeral with Alexis. Um, Neil's brother tells Alexis she's the reason why Neil died. If they didn't have their little tryst, then he would have still had his license and he still had his job and things would have went downhill. And he just laid everything on her lap that um, Neil fell off the wagon because it was her fault. Uh, <clears throat> one thing that stands out to me is that while well, I was Valentine going to the funeral with Alexis, it's not like they're close. It would have made more sense for Julian to go. But Valentine went with her. They're not even family anymore. Uh, he's like the son of the woman who killed her mother. <laughs> That's how crazy it is to see them together. Robert, Ethan, and Ethan bond on a plane. They praise Olivia, say Olivia is, is like uh, Holly. And Olivia asks Ethan to stay and come to Port Charles. But Ethan says he's got too many warrants and he has too many other places to be to, to come to Port Charles. Sasha tells Chase that it's too late to tell the truth when she finds out that Nell is gone. Uh, he's like, um, well, I guess now we can tell. Well, at first she started saying, like, is now we can tell. But then she was like, but then they kissed and they're getting closer and she's got the kid. So Sasha is all over the place. You know, she's already done drugs, so she's already all over the place. So it makes absolutely no sense. Storyline makes no sense why Nell's gone. There's absolutely no reason why Chase and Sasha can't tell Willow and Michael the truth and let them decide what they want to do. But that would be too much like right, and it would be too easy. Uh, Cam and Joss talk, and she hints that she wouldn't mind more from him, like being his date to the prom or homecoming or whatever it is they're doing. Um, this is why I didn't want Trina and Cam to be involved in the story, because clearly the end game was always Cam and Joss. And I always felt like Trina is such a great character and a great, such a good actress that she deserved her own. Uh, love interest, but Cam and Joss almost kiss, but then they don't, and that's the end of that. Uh, Franco and Scotty are excited about the money they're going to get. Turns out that it was only supposed to be 25000 each. Scotty upped the ante to 125000 each. Franco's excited because he's like, we can pay all our bills, we can pay the house off, everything. But Liz is like, you know, blackmail is wrong. You go to jail, it's a crime. I don't want to do this. Franco convinces her, let's just see if they're willing to even give us the money. And so she just kind of is going with it. But this is like a weird storyline. It's sort of exciting because it's uncharted territory for Franco and Liz to be in a blackmail plot. Even though Liz isn't squeaky clean, this is a whole nother ball of wax for them. And finally we get Drunk Ned um, gets into a fight with Valentine Cassidy with Chase. You know, he's obviously going to break it up on Monday. And uh, Alexis orders a double vodka. And that was the show. Now, the problem with Alexis ordering a double vodka is simply the fact that when she does alcohol storylines, it is boring. She is not a fun drunk. She's not a mean drunk. She is a depressed drunk. And that is not exciting to see. Like, we want Nikki Newman type of drunk. We don't want Alexis type of drunk. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think in the comment section.